I can uh, uh, show some of my views for Bitcoin. So this is for the Bitcoin price. I think everybody wanna know which, how many factors affect the Bitcoin price. I think there are six factors. So number one, the current price. What's the current price? Then uh, how many Bitcoin get into the market every day? So now I think uh, uh, the miners were mining uh, 3,500 Bitcoins per day. And I think most of them get into the trade market because the miner have to sell the coins uh, for, for, because of the cost. And I think the number three is the capital inflows. And number four, capital outflows. So in 2013, middle of 2013, because a lot of, uh, there are big ca capital inflows, so two billion US dollar per month. So the price go, go up in a very high speed. And in, in 2014, because Chinese government released regulation for Bitcoin, and so the hot money uh, give out the Bitcoin market, so the price down. And there are some, uh, there are two other factors, such as large holders can control the, control the, control the price and the government regulations. So such as uh, uh, the Russian government banned Bitcoin or US government released regulation of Bitcoin. Uh, I think uh, these six factors will affect the Bitcoin price. So when the price up and down, I think we can, we, uh, there's exactly a reason be be between the price move. Uh, now, so in the future, I think Bitcoin price will be more and more stable. Uh, because the hot money uh, get into the market last year, uh, two, two years ago, I think if the, the next time hot money interested in Bitcoin, maybe five or six years later, now they, they just change to stock market, maybe future market. So the price get more and more stable will help for, for the Bitcoin applications. So this year is, uh, uh, we, I, 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 I believe their Bitcoin will develop, will uh, expand in a very high speed. And the future of Bitcoin exchange. There are a lot, there are a lot of problems for exchange. So Mangox and the Bistem Lusan coins. Uh, I think the Bitcoin, Bitcoin exchange industry need to change. So now the exchange hold the, the mesh engine, hold coins, hold cash. I think uh, we, we, we need a different, different other roles, such as uh, escrow. Escrow can hold the, hold the fiat and the Bitcoin. And maybe the, 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 there will be a lot of other, ex, other Brokers just cooperate with the exchange. Exchange only run the mesh engine, and brokers get into the exchange. So maybe OKCoin become a broker. We are trying to uh, run this uh, uh, business model. I think this is not only for the security reason, but also for uh, the, the people's trust for Bitcoin, trust for exchange. Bitcoin exchange need, need to get more and more open to the world. So this is my, my view for the exchange. And security. Uh, I think security is a big problem for the Bitcoin. Uh, in the future, I think uh, multi-sig wallet will be more and more popular. Large amount of Bitcoin should stop in multi-sig wallet. And exchange maybe need a lot of changes, such as escrow. And I think easy to use hardware wallet would be helpful. The transactions should be significant in the hardware. And maybe voluntary identity layer would be a big, big help for the Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, now Bitcoin is totally uh, uh, anonymous. So I think maybe the, the, the security will uh, has a large space to change, to improve. A regulation, so I use a, a picture. <laughs> uh, 
It's very strange. Uh, I think the Bitcoin need to show to the world, show to the government, we, Bitcoin is just a, a pretty goal. We can do nothing. But in, the, in, in our heart, we, there's a tiger. We can uh, anti-government, anti-currency, but we cannot say it. In China, so even in China, I have a, I'm close to Chinese Central Bank, PBOC. If I tell them, oh, Bitcoin maybe will anti-government, anti-currency, all that. Oh, we have to ban Bitcoin, right? So I think the whole Bitcoin community just focus on expand the Bitcoin user. When we have 50 million Bitcoin users, nobody can ban Bitcoin. If you if you uh, just uh, say in the public, say in the TV, uh, Bitcoin is anti-government, I think it will be very hard. So for the regulation, we, we, the whole Bitcoin industry need to be uh, shown to the government. We are just a, a small critical. Yeah, this is my <laughs> view. Okay, use case. I think now in the whole Bitcoin community, there's traders, there's a lot of Bitcoin startups. And some companies such as BitPay, Coinbase, are trying to uh, get more and more merchants accept the Bitcoin. But I think we need to find well the Bitcoin has advantages all over other currency. So now it's crazy for normal people when I want to buy a, buy a computer from overstock, I first I register Coinbase accounts and deposit money and buy Bitcoin and then de deposit Bitcoin to uh, overstock, it's very crazy. I think this is not the, the, the really Bitcoin use case. We need to find some, some, some other case. Such, I think big Bitcoin has a big advantage in cross-country uh, uh, cross e-commerce, the money transfer. Maybe I, I think we, we need to uh, think a lot and try, try to do. OKCoin okay, will, uh, we will release a lot of applications this year and hope it will be really help the user uh, make their life easy or save their cost. So Bitcoin economy. So I I'm totally believe Bitcoin economy will be a, a huge market. So just like the social network, so when you have on, only have uh, one million users, the network is very small. But when you have 10 million users, you will find the network expanding a very crazy high, high speed. So now Bitcoin only has maybe two million or three million users. Uh, but I think when the, when the user uh, get into a, maybe a 20 million, it will be a, a it, it, it will, it will it, it, get, get into another level, right? Uh, so for the power Bitcoin economy, I think the cross-national B2B, the payment, the maybe corporate currencies, maybe sets like Coinbase or WeChat in China, they will base Bitcoin release their own currency yeah, and remittance. I think this is uh, the, the in, 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 this, in this domain, Bitcoin has a, a great value and and we'll uh, make a great Bitcoin GDP. So this is a Bitcoin economy. Oh, uh, I think everybody are familiar with this slide. So just like big Bitcoin uh, to the currency, it's just like TCP IP for communication. So based on the P2P, uh, TCP IP, the content, the commerce, social network is changed by the internet. I think Bitcoin uh, is TCP IP for transaction and it will affect banks, uh, payments, uh, global trade, a lot of other uh, domains. So, uh, but I, I think Bitcoin is still very young, just six years, right? Uh, there's uh, a lot of space to uh, improve improve the Bitcoin infrastructure. Actually, we think a lot a uh, bit. I think maybe future market will set Bitcoin price, just similar to gold, to oil, lots, lots spot, spot market. 
uh, because traders are more preferred to future, future market, right? And maybe voluntary identity layer will keep the Bitcoin uh, acceptable to, to a larger, la large number of people and, uh, and also the government. Yeah. And mainstream, easy, easy for use. This is very, very important. So OK, OK coin, we released some Bitcoin wallet. There's no an, any technical ideas on the wallet, just, just the QR code. And so it's, it's very e easy to use. Uh, yeah, Com complete Bitcoin loop for real acceptance, not just uh, uh, use Bitcoin and when we get Bitcoin, just sell in exchange. That's not really use Bitcoin. I think when more and more merchants support Bitcoin, uh, more and more merchants and the price become more and more stable, people are glad to hold Bitcoin and use Bitcoin. This is a really Bitcoin economy. Mm. Okay, and maybe the technical, the, the Bitcoin infrastructure also has some space to uh, improve. Such as the blockchain is very big, right? I think maybe the blockchain will divide to two chains. First is index chain, and another is transaction chain. Index chain is very small, and when the, 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 the when the computer one wallet get the index chain and then you can uh, parallel download the transaction chain. So this may, may be in, improve, resolve, the, resolve the, the, block, the blockchain size problem. Yeah. So maybe transaction router, it will <laughs> make the, the blockchain transfer speed uh, very, very, very high, right? So I think there's a big space to improve the Bitcoin. So successful company will be the one with longest patience. We need patience in the Bitcoin. Maybe it's a five year, 10 years uh, industry. I think we need patience, we need life. You cannot burn all of your money. Yeah. Okay, last slide. Uh, so a lot of people want to compare Bitcoin with gold. Uh, I totally agree with. So why gold become the money? Uh, there are a lot of factors, scalable, durable. But if, but, but why the gold exits the currency history? Because the gold cannot divide. Po yeah, the, the, because of the GDP growth, the gold is not enough for the global trade, right? So uh, in England, in, in the, the British company uh, released the first uh, gold-based currency. And but now we use a government credit currency, right? Because uh, gold-based gold currency also acts as a history. But if those perfect gold, what is perfect gold? It can divide, uh, just, just like Bitcoin can, can, can divide end time. So if those perfect gold in the world, uh, do we have the gold-based currency or government credit currency? I think no, we don't need it. Just the perfect gold is okay. Because gold is used for several thousand years, right? So what is perfect gold? I think Bitcoin is maybe a perfect gold. So this is my... Uh, speech. So thanks for being my English. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, uh, any questions for for me? I think there's a lot of uh, questions ready. <laughs> there are a lot of doubts for Chinese Bitcoin market, such as fake trade volume, and a, lo a lot of questions. Yeah, maybe I, I need my colleague, Jack Liu, do some translation for me. Uh, Jack Liu is our head of the business development. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, let's take some questions.
Okay. Uh, Chinese government def defined the Bitcoin as virtual goods. So a Bitcoin can use payment for virtual goods, but not for physical goods. If the local store accept the Bitcoin, uh, that should be illegal in China. But the truth is a lot of uh, stores accept Bitcoin because they are very small. Nobody tell them. They can't do it. <laughs> Uh, if the Chinese people use Bitcoin by the overseas uh, overseas goods, uh, that's totally illegal. Uh, actually, I think margin uh, uh, help the Bitcoin liquidity uh, get into another level. Uh, mm, I think I think margin is just a okay. Can I use Chinese? This is very complicated. Jack, Jack will help me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, Jack will we 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 help me translate. Yeah. Uh, so the price down and up has its own uh, reasons. The margin, uh, this this margin will increase increase its speed, but it will not change the direction. It may change it may change the uh, speed at which the price reaches the or exacerbate the price a little bit, but uh, it doesn't change sort of fundamentally whether Bitcoin should go higher or, or down. Like, uh, it's not like Bitcoin was on its way up and margin brought it down. That, that's not what's going on, so. Okay. Margin on liquidity and then the whole market will be stable. Yeah, in a real market, margin should increase liquidity, uh, get more participants into the exchange, and actually make prices more stable, so. So, in a so in every market, if the price down up in a high speed or down in, in a high speed, I think that's not a good thing for, for a trade market. So a stable market is better. So because in the margin, with the margin, you can long and short Bitcoin. This will make the whole market more and more stable. I think this, this is margin futures are helpful for the Bitcoin. So some people just saying, oh, because of you, 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 you give a, you can short in the margin. In the margin, you use the margin short in Bitcoin, and this is lo this is bad for Bitcoin. I don't think so. Shorts and long make the market very stable. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you very much. I think we might have a couple other questions from other guests. Or. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks for, for your time.